Welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to start the third painting in my series that I'm trying to make at the moment. The painting I'm going to do, I've already got it planned out. But my last painting that I did, um, which you guys can go back and watch, I I think it came out like kind of too clean. There wasn't enough like layers kind of building up and making the painting. So yeah, this painting I really just want to try play around with like lots of different layers. So obviously I've got like the final outcome that I kind of want, but I'm just going to try add a few different layers within my normal painting process that are just a bit more um, kind of just random and just going with the flow of things. Main goal is to just kind of have more colors coming through from different layers and create a bit more textures as my last painting like didn't really have any textures. So yeah, excited to get into this one and I got two new kind of art techniques that I'm going to try with this painting. So keen to see how those go. But yeah, I've already done a base um, white coat just to cover the canvas. Now I'm just gonna try work on like my base painting. I'm gonna put some music on and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I kind of got the start to the base done. I have to say like painting kind of just like without a plan and doing is just so much more fun. But yeah, I mean a lot of this is going to be covered like kind of the next few layers. But I also got, or well, my girlfriend got me these when I was in Hawaii. I don't really know what um, like medium they are. They're kind of like a paint stick sort of thing. Also kind of like a um, oil pastel. So I don't know, they're really soft, but I haven't used them yet been wanting to use them but I just haven't really found the right painting to do it on so I think I might just put a couple kind of squiggles around the place to kind of pull through into the next layer I've got my plan of the painting um, on my computer which is like out of camera out of frame there and yeah I'm just kind of just thinking that like where I put color like where it'll come through and still look alright something up through here they're kind of cool though they're kind of almost like the Sakura paint markers, which I've been trying to find somewhere in Oz to get some of those, but you just can't get them anywhere. Like, I can only order them off eBay. But we'll definitely do that once I have a bit of money put aside for them. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, it was kind of like all my art influences, and all those dudes kind of just like get paint down and then kind of like bring the painting out within it and kind of add in all the elements that they've like maybe pre designed and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of the plan at the moment, is to bring a bit more of that into my own process. Yeah, I'm not too sure what this stuff's gonna be like to paint over. Now, yeah, I'm gonna try kind of a new technique using this roller. So I'll put a screen grab if I can find it up of the artist that I've seen that does this. Um, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, the idea is kind of to just like dip it into here. I got this like super fluffy one, so hopefully it kind of it adds a little bit of texture as well and I kind of just want to soak it quite a bit just realized that I've kind of jumped the gun here I kind of I need to do a white first I'll just leave that in there and I'll quickly put a layer of white down so I've been trying to make my vlogs a little bit less kind of like edity if that makes sense I feel like videos up until recently have been um, yeah kind of just like quick more like a video edit 
rather than like a vlog. Kind of do a little bit more just kind of slowing things down, more kind of talking whilst doing things. Um, so let me know if it's the vibe that you guys like or if you kind of like the edit style. I mean, I, uh, I say to you guys, let me know, but I literally haven't had like anybody comment on anything, so. That's <laughs> alright, I'm just do what we want to do at the moment. Anything about doing just the longer like takes like this where I'm just kind of painting and talking is I'm just not somebody that talks a lot, so I don't really know what to talk about. If I'm with somebody and they're having a conversation, I'm all in, but when it's just me alone, yeah, I don't really know what to say. I'm sure uh, practicing it, I'll get better at it. I mean, when I first started doing these vlogs, like it would take me probably like 30 minutes to even get one sentence out, just because I'm absolutely awful at being in front of the camera. So that's been like a massive learning curve. And kind of just goes to show that like, if you are somebody that wants to start like a painting or whatever, an art YouTube, like I was absolutely awful at it at the start. I still am awful, but I'm definitely better than I was when I first started doing this. Practice makes perfect, I guess. So one of the other techniques besides like the paint roller that I'm gonna try is using coffee. So like obviously in, um, Kind of the tattoo industry, whenever like a lot of traditional or trad tattoo artists, they do like flash sheets. They will um, sometimes do like coffee stained backgrounds and then do the flash on top of that. Me trying to do like a lot of trad work um, or trying to get better at doing like trad stuff. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to kind of bring like that tattooing kind of aspect of that art into this painting. Yeah, see how it goes. I think right now my camera is about to overheat, so I'm gonna finish this off and then I'll start the uh, coffee staining. So I got a bit of Makona coffee here. Now you guys are very much learning with me right now. I'm gonna try this. All right, there we go. The idea of it is to kind of just make it look kind of like aged and yeah, just give that like trad look that I was talking about at the start. I have no idea if I've made this strong enough thinking right now that probably needs to be a lot stronger. Alright, I'm pretty hyped with how that turned out. Um, I kind of left a few little spots, obviously so I can kind of see the underpainting a little bit. May cover them up later if it's looking a bit too like busy, but I think for now it looks cool. Pretty stoked with how like the kind of border turned out up here and a few other kind of little spots around the painting. When I was doing the coffee, the coffee and the water, it was kind of wearing off the paint that like hadn't fully dried. So it kind of looks like like an old graffiti wall where like layers of paint has built up and then it kind of like spots kind of wear away or flake away. So it kind of looks cool, kind of like made it look a bit more like industrial. This afternoon I got to do a bit of editing and then uh, take my dog for a run. So. I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow morning and actually start doing actual the main pieces on it. Back in my little beach gym studio. This morning was crazy hot, so I just went down to the beach as you guys saw with Clash and yeah, chilled out for a bit. Uh, but it's starting to cool down now, so I'm gonna do some more painting this afternoon. I was looking at my painting this morning, or like the paint I did yesterday, and yeah, pretty hyped with it. It definitely didn't get the coffee dyed background look that I was kind of going for. But I think just because I didn't, I kind of diluted the coffee, I think, a little bit too much. I think if I was going to do it again, I'd probably make it like a little bit like heavier. But it kind of like created its own thing, which is kind of cool. Like to me, like a lot of come in some of these sections through here kind of almost look like, um, I don't know if you guys ever had like a skateboard before, but whenever you have like a fresh graphic on it and your first like couple of board slides or tail slides, you get kind of like smudges and like smears on the graphic. And a lot of like these kind of remind me of that. But yeah, I'm keen to get into doing this and try and get this finished. I don't think I'll get it finished today, probably maybe today and one more day. But like now I kind of need to get like the main graphic that I've drawn up onto there. 
to do that, I'm gonna just use a projector and project it on. I've had a couple comments on some of my videos of people wondering like what projector I use. And I use, can't remember the name of it, but it's pretty common if you look up like cheap projectors. Obviously it's not the best projector in the world, but I'm also like not projecting small detailed designs onto here. A lot of why I kind of use a projector is to mainly just get the designs that I've already made onto here and to just draw like out the scale of it all. I'm also not like a crazy good drawer. I was watching um, one of Carlton Jacobs documentaries and he just sits down and it's just like, just smashes out these like pretty crazy drawings. And obviously like I'd love to get to that stage. So it's obviously not a good idea to use these like all the time. So yeah, as I just said, for me, I just want to get the scale right of the drawings that I've done and then to get better at drawing a lot of the times, like it's my last painting, like all the smaller details and all that kind of stuff. I'll just go through and hand draw all of those. It makes them look a little bit rougher as well, which is what I like. So yeah, I'm gonna set this up now and get this all marked up. Might be looking at the painting thinking it looks a lot different to how I left it um, last night. That's because this morning I came in to have a look and I don't know, I was kind of feeling like it was just feeling too plain in the background, like my last painting I did. Yeah, I don't know, it just didn't feel very interesting. It wasn't like there was a whole lot going on. I find like a lot of times when I like start doing the painting and then I'm kind of building up all the layers, like I get scared that I'm gonna like do something that was gonna ruin like all the work that I've done beforehand. And then the painting kind of just gets like, I feel like more and more boring as I go on. Um, so it's like something I'm trying to work on and change. At the moment I'm stoked with the changes. I'm keen to see once I fill in all the blacks, how it actually comes out. But um, yeah, no, I was kind of feeling like this blue, just like when it was over the whole thing was just making it like a little bit too dark. So I just put in some lighter blues to try and make these kind of figures stand out once I fill those in. Yeah, I'm hoping I can kind of get through quite a bit today. Um, it'd be nice to finish it, but I think doing all the blacks would probably take a while and then just kind of clean everything up again. I find normally when I get down to like all like the final details, it just takes so much longer. So all the reds are done. Uh, might look a little weird right now, but it should look nice once I deal with the blacks on it. Doing the actual white underneath this color makes the color pop so much more, makes it look so much nicer. I think I can probably go in for the blacks now and start doing all, the, all of that kind of stuff. Now, to do all the blacks, I'm probably just gonna do a montage for you guys. Probably not super interesting seeing me could do every little line on here. So, yeah, I'm gonna do it in oil paint, as it's kind of like what I always do. I like to do all my outlines in black oil paint and then um, just all my block colours and stuff in acrylic just so there's kind of like a bit of a contrast between the two. Yeah, so I'm going to get into doing that now and I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
All right, so I'm getting pretty close to getting done. There's a couple little things I need to clean up. I gotta do the text down here. And I think I'm gonna do like where I've kind of painted over the text to like maybe the fluorescent red, um, replacing like as the letters that were there, if that makes sense. So it just kind of like brings your attention to the text. And originally I was gonna do what I've done here with kind of like the stencil or the outline of the main figure. I was gonna do it in white but overlaid on top of the main figure. But um, yeah, I just don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do it because I was gonna do that one in white paint and with all the oil paint in there, it's like pretty heavy black oil paint. And if I try to do any white paint on top of that, it's just gonna be quite a nightmare to get it like actually clean and not smudge the black unless I kind of waited ages. So I think I'm just gonna do the white kind of head behind the main figure. So you've got like these two behind it and then that one's in the foreground. But yeah, before I go jump to doing that, I'm gonna take my dog for a run. All right, so I just come down to the spot where I was yesterday swimming. And on the other side of the estuary, there's kind of like a, looks like a nice little like path to run along. But I'm not gonna lie, my legs are pretty tired from um, just painting all day. But it's kind of good because I do like video editing throughout the whole week so it's nice to be doing like a different type of art which I'm not just sitting down all day. But yeah, pretty hyped with the painting I'm working on at the moment. If I get that finished tonight, that's three done. And for the art exhibition that I wanna do, I probably wanna do like eight to 12 or eight to 10 paintings. So got a lot more to do, but I think this one that I've been doing over the last few days is um, definitely just a bit more interesting. I think you can kinda see a bit more of like a narrative of like how the painting was made. Last night I was looking at the mock-up that I did and kind of just having second thoughts whether or not I kind of just made up like a shit concept. But I think all the changes I did today kind of just like letting go and just chucking some more paint around um, has made me like it a lot more. So yeah, I'm gonna take Clash for a run now and then go for a little dip here afterwards. It's kind of why I wanted to come down here and go for a run. Just because he gets so hot running here at the moment. So it's gonna be nice for him to be able to go for a swim afterwards. Actually the next day, after the swim last night, I went to go finish off um, like the final head and I realized that I've only got acrylic in white and I kind of figured that like it might have looked like kind of flat if I did this in acrylic. So this morning I went and picked up a new oil paint. First time actually using a white oil paint, I've only ever used black so yeah, gonna use the white today, see how that comes out. Hopefully it's kind of thick. So yeah, we'll see how we go. So the whites are done. It hasn't come out as thick as I wanted the whites to in this painting. So I'm gonna probably have to let them dry and then just do one more coat with the oil paint. Just so it kind of thickens up and kind of pops just as much as like the black up here. And I just spent the last little bit contemplating whether I'd go over the top of the face. And I think I'm gonna leave it, just because like the placement of it, it kind of like covers a bit of this eye, which I don't really want to cover that up. I just put, took a photo of it and put it onto my computer, into Photoshop, and kind of just like played around with the overall design. And I'm gonna add in probably two extra elements kind of over the top. I'm gonna do a, like a rose up here in this fluorescent um, orange red and then do like just a web up the top corner. I don't know, just made it feel like there's a bit more going on. So I think by adding like the red here, a bit of red there and red there will kind of just like lift up the brightness of like the whole painting a little bit and just make it feel like a little bit more interesting. And it also kind of goes on, goes along with what like the um, painting's kind of portraying. 
This proverb along here, it says something like, fall down seven times, get back up eight times. Um, so that's kind of what the whole painting is about. More focused on kind of like the emotions that come with that. Like you got like the negative self and then the whites like the positive self. So like just like inner thoughts with continuing and doing your craft. Um, so by adding the rows here, kind of like, I guess represent, represent something like flourishing and then the web up there is kind of like being stuck. Yeah, that's kind of what that means. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to finish off this text now. Once I finish all these kind of final elements, I'll go grab my other two paintings of this series and I'll set them up so you guys can kind of see how it's all coming together. All right, that's like the first time I've kind of done that freehand about tracing that. Kind of scary to do because you don't want to mess it up or is it obviously will be wrong. I mean, if you can read Japanese, writing um, let me know if it's right or wrong but i'm pretty sure it's right yeah now i've just got to finish off doing those final elements i'm kind of just doing them uh pretty thick with the paint just to add a bit more texture so they kind of pop out a little bit and gonna do them just pretty rough like hand drawn kind of style Paint's done now. Um, I've got a few little pieces I need to clean up, but I need to let a lot of things dry to do that. So for this vlog, I'm probably gonna end it here. But these are the three paintings that I've done so far of the series. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.